Who said she's gay? No. What? Sorry. Welcome back, I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season six, episode seven of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is Messing with the Kid. And I, I, I am, as always, excited to watch a new episode of One Tree Hill to continue enjoying this season because so far, all the episodes have been really, really good. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to continue watching One Tree Hill. Uh, I am, you know, if you're on Patreon, I am trying to give you uh, at least two episodes per week for One Tree Hill. I know normally sometimes we go crazy and we do like four or five, but you know, this is as much as I can handle right now. Um, so yeah, but I, I still hope you guys enjoy and you guys are always so supportive with my reactions. doesn't matter how many I post, you always deliver the comments, the likes and everything. So thank you so much. You guys are fantastic. Thank you for your continued support and I hope you guys enjoy it both on YouTube as well, even though YouTube, I have no idea how this video will go because uh, I am way ahead on Patreon. Right now I'm season three on YouTube still and on season six on Patreon. So by the time probably this is posted, I'm already done with season nine of One Tree Hill. So yeah, in case you guys want to have a head start, go there. I post a lot more regular there, although things are about to change on YouTube. So yeah, uh, I am excited to watch another episode. Previous episode was really good that I just watched uh, a few minutes ago. And now I am excited and ready to watch episode um, uh, seven, right? So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Give a lot of thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, the link as always will be in the description down below. So in case you guys want to check that out, I already said that. What? Anyways, if you're on YouTube, you might want to check it out. Uh, but for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just, uh, let's just watch episode, uh, let's just begin with season six, episode seven of One Tree Hill. Here we go. <laughs> Before we begin, has everybody forgotten about Rachel? Like, where is she? What happened to her? Is she still like, you know, not okay? Cause like she came in, Victoria did like said awful things to her and she ran away with a lot of cash and she is an addict and we still don't know anything about her. If you could maybe go through like losing another character right now, I swear to God, I will. I don't want to cry. This means we need to have our own space in order to ease the transition. Way ahead of you. What the fuck? What's that? Oh, it's your cave, silly. Ooh. Man, Brooke looks hot here. Okay, can you, can you stop? Can the cage, huh? Oh. But you are the most weird person on this show. <laughs> I love you, Peyton, because I love Peyton, and I love all the weirdness, like, that she brings to the show. But, like, that was a crazy-ass dream. What on earth is she on? Like, what is her... I mean, I, I cannot even, like, say, oh, um, poor, like... Peyton should be saying no after everything she has gone through. No wonder she has like this crazy ass dreams. Couldn't you have like a sex dream with Brooke or something? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Why did you what? Why did you hit him? He didn't do anything. <laughs> oh. Honey, I don't remember ordering bad Italian. <laughs> Sorry to bother you so late, but uh Sam, can you just yell at me in the morning? I'm really tired. Well, I'll bet you are. <laughs> oh, Davis is exhausting. <laughs> I miss Angie. Oh, Angie was an angel. That is true. Angie was an angel. Angie and angel. I love. Marvin, 
Millie, what are you doing in Omaha? What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love that he makes her question about her being in Omaha. What the hell? And what is she wearing? I know we get it, you're a virgin. <laughs> so I quit my job. Again. For me? For us. Okay, cute. Without you, Omaha just felt cold and lonely. Do you feel better now? Now I'm just cold. <laughs> <laughs> You're so adorable, Maleficent in mouth. My boy, my boy, my boy. Like, I couldn't be even like more proud of him. I know it's kind of silly he been jumping around, but still. Like, did you see that? That was for a poster. Like, let's be real. I haven't, like, figured out what to do with my background yet. But, like, if I decide to put pictures again and mess with my wall, that shot will go there. Yes! Hey, how'd you sleep? Not very well. Someone hit me with a magazine. <laughs> yeah, oh, poor thing. I was... Well... Once you move in, expect to find out you don't know each other as well as you think. That's ridiculous. Great. Everybody says we're like twins. Okay. Ew, You're don't right. say that. And to make up for the magazine attack, I'm making your favorite breakfast. Oh, really? French toast? Oh. Pancakes. Oh. Oh. Pancakes! So they really do, do know, don't know each other, but it's okay. It's okay that, that this is happening because it's the first time they're gonna live together. So it's, it's fine. So they have issues. She's not there. Great, Sam, you're making this so much easier. What the hell? Come out. To go, you'll rip it. So then you have two stupid tapes. Oh! It's not stupid, I whipped my friend Quinn. We have a bully. <laughs> Hopefully Dan is nowhere near, so he doesn't threat a child, but like, I'm kind of like, okay, if he does it, because no one touches my grandchild. Then Quentin must be stupid. No, you idiot. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god, but I left him a boy win for it. Just yes. Because you Let's see, it says we should work it out by communicating openly, compromising, and focusing on each other. Then just say that we should have sex. <laughs> to fix it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. This? Okay. Syllables, respectively. A good example of this would be. <laughs> oh, Brooke is hilarious. She was like, B -b 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 -b. like she didn't even talk. And I love how like she walks any room she walks in. She's the queen there. She is the queen there. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, Haley is a comedian. For you, I will try. Friends, I, just, I friends. need her to try too, you know? Yeah. Even if it's just a little. It I does work totally both fair. where, both ways. Good. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> thank you, so Brooke. Tired. Yeah, thank me if I haven't killed her by tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, I don't like the cure. Oh no! How can you not like the cure? Well, their music's depressing and whiny. Yeah, and if it could squeak, oh it would God. be you. <laughs> you that the lyrics I spent all day painting at the River Court were cure lyrics, right? Oh yeah, I know. And I love the lyrics. I hate the music. I don't even know who you are. Right <laughs> now. Know, Look, I'm just trying to be honest. I mean, it's good. Things that I like that you don't, right? Second, Brooke has a very similar tattoo near her lady business. No. Oh. <laughs> cure albums, where there'll be a. How does she know that? Has she spent like too much time, you know, checking out her lady parts? 
Of course not. Of course I'm gonna make everything gay, okay? It's been a while since I haven't done it. On this show, especially. Appreciate it. Like the trash. Talk to me. Oh my god, that's... You see, we are totally different. It's Just okay. Like the says. It's okay to be different, though. How come we haven't moved into the master bedroom? You mean my mom's room? No, I mean the master bedroom. I mean, she gave you the house, right? Yeah. But this is in her Just mom's be... room. Ah, too weird sleeping in here as an adult. Who you said can. anything about sleeping? Oh. oh. <laughs> no. Definitely not Luke, we are adults. He's Should not having... the adult room? He's not having sex in his mom's room room or at least in his mom's bed it's fair go shop for another one you know oh hello hello is she when the stars go is she is she singing to <laughs> don't mm. is she singing to her She's like, cause she's off the limits, you know, but I don't mind. Is she? No. I love your music. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. It's a fan. Oh. Going on lately, music hasn't seemed to matter much. <sighs> it's too bad because it matters to a lot of other people. Yeah. Well, it looks like your music matters a lot too. You don't want to keep the fans waiting. Neither do you. <laughs> <laughs> she's totally flirting with her. I don't even quote me. Of course, Haley is like, of, she's in love. And of course, Nayla's in game. And like, I will not, even if they dare to say, we'll give you a lesbian storyline with Haley. No, I don't want it. T see, this took a lot of strength. That's how much I love Nayla. I will never change any, anything about them. I always want them together. See, see, see how powerful it is for me. I could totally make a ship of this, though. Like, crack ship. When I was younger, I had a poncho. <laughs> that everybody else said was really ugly, but I really liked it, so I kept wearing it. And that's what you should do. If you like your cape, you should just wear it whenever you want. I love that she's comparing it to her poncho. I love it. <laughs> want and ignore what everybody else says. Your mom should have ignored it. Oh, keeps picking on me. And what your father means by that is if somebody's picking on you, you should just walk away. Right, honey? No, I don't think so. Yes. Yes, she's right. Nah, I wouldn't yeah. say that to my kid. I will say, fight the bitch. Yeah. I'm so... I, am I a terrible parent? Sometimes I wonder that. But, like, Josh has also been, like... And Josh is, like... Not, not, like... Too, like, you know, spiritual. But, like, when he has been bullied... He never fights back, and I I hate that because I'm always telling him, just fight back. But like, it's just not on him, you know. I guess. Um, but the thing is that I will not say just walk away. I mean, yes, walk away at, at first, but he continues doing that. You know, just beat the shit out of him. It will let it will let him go. I think you know, and also teach him not that no one can mess with him. Right. I don't know. Be tough like it's not funny. <laughs> I'm only laughing because of how angry you got. About what? He couldn't get I it out? I've never heard anybody yell at him before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, it is not a... I love this. I love this. I love that baby is teasing him about it. It doesn't happen to every guy at some point. <laughs> it wouldn't happen at all. You're not in my mom's bed. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, it seems I've made a huge mistake. I'm calling Lindsay. Don't even joke about that. I will slap the shit out of him and be mad at him for the next couple of weeks. That's not a joke. Yeah, go, go right ahead. Go ahead. Call her. Let's see how well you do that. Maybe we'll get it up or not. Make you have a funny story about it. You think that'll help? <laughs> 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 yes, baby, yes. <laughs> Keep making fun of him. <laughs> hey, have I been in tonight? Um, it, Jamie came home from school upset the other day. I guess your son was teasing him. 
Well, you know how boys are. It doesn't have We're to be to like that. Do something about it. Yeah. You know, I think it's best if we let the boys work it out for themselves. So much better than tattling. Don't you think? Uh, he's not tattling. He's... I'm about to kick this bitch's ass. How dare you talk to my Haley like that? And like, oh yeah, that's how boys are. No! No, they don't have to be like that. They don't have to be aggressive. There's no excuse for being a bully. Whether if you're a guy or a, or a girl, okay? Lady. He's probably just a late bloomer. I'm sure he'll make friends someday. Listen, honey, if your little brat doesn't stop picking on my son, not only will I give Jamie permission to kick his ass, but I'll be kicking your ass right alongside of him. Got that, bitch? <laughs> yes, yes! I'd like to see you try, little girl. Oh, you don't want to. Oh, my God. Yes, Haley. <laughs> I love this. You know what? I will have done the same thing. But see the difference? I wouldn't have take the high road. I will be like, honey, next time that kid picks on you, and if he's too big... Grab a bat. Everyone is the same size when you have a bat on your head. He's a tough kid. But you know what? I'll, I'll take care of it. In the meantime, just try not to kill anybody. Okay, slugger? <laughs> I'm going to call his mom a bitch and then push her. <laughs> oh, that's right. You already did that, didn't you? <laughs> I like this teasing. I don't know what I'm going to do, okay? But let's... Oh, oh, I think this is adorable. I swear God, I will give... Anything for this family. They are my everything. Take care of it. Look at some. My girl is a badass. That's hot. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I love that. I love that little smile he gives to her. To, he gives to her every time. Like it's a special type of smile. It is only reserved for Haley. Right, right? Like when he does like that, his eyes squint. It's just like the most adorable thing in the planet. Oh, my child, he's so perfect. They are so perfect. I'm sorry, no one is as perfect as Nayli is. I think she likes me about as much as I like my mother. Wow. That's terrible. We both know there's some parents you're better off without, but you're not one of them. She'll realize that. Yeah, well, that's true. She hasn't stuck around long enough to figure that out. It's the last minute. It's a lot of work, and I need it in two hours. <laughs> as tempting as that sounds, <laughs> I'm still orphan deep in the last favor I did for the Scott family. It's for Jamie. Okay, she will do it. Mm. Is he going to give capes to everyone? Gigi? No! Oh, Gigi! Oh, no! Oh, wait, she... Wait, you guys know each other? We were high school lovers. She has changed so much. She looks so cute. No, shut up. No, no. Are you sad? Are you gonna go fly home to your mommy? How annoying is this kid? I'm gonna walk away. So who doesn't think the capes are cool? Yeah. <laughs> yes. He can fly. Oh, my boy. Oh, by the way, that box right there is full of capes if anybody wants one. Not you! Not you! Aww, adorable! A super dad! I love this! You didn't come home last night. It's not my home. Come on, Sam! Besides, I said I could come and go as I please. So I left. That's not that what she not meant. What I meant. Oh, sweetie. Okay. I'm used to people giving up on me. She's not giving up on you. She just wants you to try. Oh, Sam. I want to hug her, though. All the time. <coughs> well, you don't make it easier right now, Connie. See that waitress over there? <clears throat> don't tell me that's your mom. It's my mom. Oh. One day, I'm going to tell her who I am. The big mistake she made. Honey. Like I said, I'm used to people giving up on me. No. Thanks anyway. No, Sam. Sam. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I 
It's okay, Brooke. Don't Still tell her, though. Don't tell her, though. Um, the mom. Oh, my God. That really made me feel bad. Also, hold on, because I want to... See, this is the Gigi that I remember. So, is the glasses, like... And here I am, you know, sometimes when I watch Supergirl, I'm like... Oh, how Lena doesn't know that she's super girl. She's only wearing glasses. And she looks like a completely different person to me right now. Because she's not wearing the glasses. <laughs> I'm as dumb as Lena is. I love this. I was walking to class and all of a sudden I thought, I should have had sex with Mouth. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah, that is weird. <laughs> Mouth, stop it. I have a girlfriend. Cool. I do too. Sometimes. Bless my bisexual, a bisexual person, bless, bless this, okay? But I know that they're gonna go with the, like, kinky type of thing, whatever. Like, oh my god, she kisses girls, and it actually doesn't mean anything. I just drool when I heard that she, like, has a girlfriend sometimes. I am this pathetic, I know. But, like, still... I just drew on my own hair. I love this. At the sole mention of lesbianism. <laughs> just stop it. Stop it. Don't. Uh, also, don't make him question anything because he's really in love with Maleficent. If, and if he breaks my Maleficent's heart, I'm coming after you, Mouth. Thought I'd do a little reading before bed. Hmm. Maybe you should reread your book and think about the comet and oh my God. how close it is. She can't touch it because you're stubborn. How beautiful is my child? Like, how beautiful is she? Like, a dream. I don't know how you are, like, I don't know how you didn't get it up, man. Like, mom's room and everything. Still, man. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't want to, but you said it would make me tough. It does. It took me a long time to learn that lesson. That is so cute. Those kids teased you about your cape and you wore it anyway. Don't That's strong. You. Sam, I don't want to make the same mistakes our parents made. I want you to move in with me. On an official foster home basis. If you want to. That's good. Deal? Deal. Good. I like this. <laughs> that is the last thing. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna dig this relationship a lot. What you did for Jamie was amazing. It truly was. He's such a great dad. And like having as an example, you know, Dan as an example to be a dad, like, honey, you're so, so good. And like, so emotionally smart. Such a great dad. It's slam ball play and Nathan Scott. <laughs> I wouldn't call you mild mannered. <laughs> this is so adorable. Why they yeah. they, they this adorable? I think I'm in the mood to do some singing. It's about time. <laughs> oh. Look at him so proud of her. I love that smiley he always gives to her. What are you doing here? I know I wouldn't be any good at it. Okay, then pie. <laughs> And I'm sorry. You know what? But the experience was amazing for her. And she did amazing by Have herself. Have you ever considered that going through all those awful experiences is exactly what would make you a good father someday? I've seen you she be has responsible a point. with Rachel and Paul. If not, then I hope the real Brooke Davis will stop by. Oh, come on. Well, it wasn't that bad. He did freak out, but... I won't go anywhere this time. It's not like he's a terrible guy, you know? No! B. Davis! You still got it, honey. Oh, look, that is sweet. Of course you went through my art again without asking permission. Yeah, Why exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, honey. Miss Skolnick. Dan Scott, Jamie's grandfather. You do That's know him, right? Kid. You know, I hear he and Jamie got in a little scuffle the other day. I sure hope they work it out. 
You know what? I, I think they already have. You know, I'd love to join you. <laughs> drink, but I'm late for meeting with my parole officer. <laughs> Scaring people. Murder. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything less from Dan Scott. You know what, bitch? You deserve it. <laughs> Yes, girl. Boy, look at that. How fucking amazing is him? And what a great ass he has, my child. Please tell me she's in the bathroom. <laughs> Brooke is like. <laughs> Whoa, Chuck, slow roll. Maybe another time. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing your cape? Well, some people lead and some people follow. <laughs> yes, Jamie! <laughs> You're so adorable. He's so adorable. And so badass. My grandchild right there. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season six, episode seven of One Tree Hill. Um, you know, you might be on, on, um, Haley's side in terms of what happened with, with Jamie in this episode. Some might say it is better to walk away and, you know, and I do love the meaning, uh, behind, um, that, you know, but to be honest, look, I was never... I don't think I have ever been bullied. I was a class clown back in high school. So, and I didn't mess with anyone and no one like really messed with me, you know? Didn't really give a damn. I wasn't popular per se. Also my school, like there was, like, it was a big school. It was a public school here in Peru. Public schools are like very crowded. Like my class I think had like and it works completely different from the U.S. So my class had had like 40 kids, 40 girls, because I was in an all-girls school because <laughs> it wasn't confusing enough <laughs> already that my mom decided, you know what, you're going to an all-girls school uh, in high school. So, yeah. Uh, so maybe because of that, I don't know really, you know, but... You know, my mom was never the type of, like, oh, if someone bothers you, just walk the other way. She was always like, fight back, you know, because if they see that you fight back, they will not mess with you. But no one truly messed with me, you know, in that aspect. So I never truly had to, like, uh, fight anyone. There was one time when someone, like, pulled my hair. And I think I pulled it back, I think. I don't remember. But, I mean, they really, truly never mess with me, I think. I don't know. But the thing is that, for instance, Josh is kind of like Jamie in this sense. Because he's, he, or not so much, because he did fall back when it, when he says something about Quentin, you know. Um, but I don't know if it's a great advice or not, but I, I always believe that you have to defend yourself you know um of course walking away and just being the bigger person works you know but i think it works in a more uh, adult world i think you know when there's someone just messing with you it's a lot better to just like walk away but i'm not that type of person you know if someone fucks with me I'm gonna, like, answer back, you know? I And I am like that, in a way, I think. You know, I just remember some uh, an instance when I should have walked away, but I just fire back and, you know, I don't know. But in the grand scheme of things, yes, of course, you do want to tell your kid, you know, uh, just take the higher ground uh, and, and be better and, you know, be a leader instead of a follower and all of that. Um... And it was great, a great message. Um, but I love that, you know, out of both Nathan and Haley, it was Haley the one who snapped, you know? And 
it's such a like such a mama bear kind of thing and i love the fact that um she fought uh <laughs> the, the 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 other mom it was unexpected but like the minute the mom started started talking crap and then she was like maybe he needs to grow up and like things like that I was like oh no this bitch is gonna get it you know i'm glad that Haley did that you know uh so much for taking the high road uh and it was actually nathan who we know has a past for snapping very fast who you know just walked away and and you know made the capes for the kids and like teaching them like riscos we're pretty cool you know and like kids are gonna want to be like you honey and it was badass you know he was amazing at it surprising the kids and now every single kid wears a uh a cape uh so it was badass i really love that um in terms of uh well the story with Na- with haley as well um and with haley and with brooke you know with a company and all of it i totally relate to them in the sense of like Sometimes it's not all about money and all of that and or the big su- success, but loving the thing that you do, you know, loving the thing that you do. And this is something that for the longest time, I, you know, for the past few months, I've struggled with uh, in terms of like here, you know, because you guys know how much I love uh, doing my reaction videos and doing talking to you guys and all of that and I love it you know and it's as close as it gets at the moment for uh something that I always dreamed of which was exactly you know reviewing shows and doing this journalism in 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 that sense because I loved films and I love shows you know so I now I get the opportunity to talk to you guys and like honestly make a living out of it as as, uh, at the same time um But the thing is that um, you sometimes, and I have gone through that, uh, and that is one, if you are here for a long time, you see the amount of like reactions I used to post and the reactions that I'm posting posting now, which have very different uh, uh, meanings for it. Before it was because, you know, I had a li- I had a lot more time. Josh went to school, you know, and 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 I had free time there. I had free time in the afternoon in the uh, at night. So I had a lot more time. Now Josh is like 24/7 here because of quarantine and all of that. And like you will think that the quarantine, the fact that I'm home most of the time, it will, you know, open like for more reactions but I came to a point you know where it was just me going with the flow and don't get me wrong I enjoy the shows that I've reacted to and most of them and like all of them like I remember like the one show that I didn't really understood was Scam and it's the reason why I till this moment haven't reacted to Scam on any of the different countries they have made like like a remake of the show i don't know what it was i never understood that that that's the only show that i was like you know yeah maybe i don't necessarily want to react to it right now maybe someday but not at the moment um but the thing is that before i was just going with the flow it was about me posting five six reactions a day and like it was a lot but like i think that you could see if you like focus on a day where I reacted to five re- five different shows, you could see that I started with a lot of energy and I ended up with none, you know? And it stopped being fine, you know? And then I have, of course, my issues with, with my own mental health, the fact that I'm locked in and like a lot of things have trigger a lot of things in me good thing about the quarantine is that I actually have reached out for help. I am sleeping better, not necessarily handling a hundred percent the anxiety and an OCD. This is still a process and I'm still, you know, working on it. But the thing is with, uh, with this, with Patreon, 
there was one point or when I was like following the 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 the, the flow of it and I watch a reaction video of, of myself because I normally don't rewatch my things unless I'm editing. Um, sorry. Um, and I watch a reaction video for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And the energy was so much different back when I was doing only two or three shows at the time. And it was so different. And I was so shocked that I felt that I lost it. And I felt like, no, 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 no. Why am I not this excited? I mean, I like the shows, but like my energy at the end of the day, it's not the same that I, the, from the one that I started. So no, it, it cannot be like that, you know? And that's why one of the reasons why I cut back into reacting to less shows to have more quality, you know, to have, to let me like enjoy it. And that is why it was at that point where I was enjoying one Tree Hill, and why I decided, no, you know what? I cannot let that feeling just like die down because I enjoy doing One Tree Hill. At that point, it was that was the, the, the one show that I enjoyed it like the most and because of the season. I think it was season three, right? When I started like doing a lot and I didn't do a lot because I just wanted to post. No, it's because I felt like it, you know? And... I think in my process of like reacting to a bunch of shows and like giving you guys a lot of options, I lost what is most important to have passion for it. I love the shows, but you can clearly see, I think, if you go back to some reactions where I'm just like reacting because, you know, I make fun of some things and like, you know, I find myself, I love TV, so I'm, I, I will enjoy it, but you will you can see, I feel, the, the shift between liking a show and being passionate about a show. For instance, One True Hill is that show for me, you know? But then it's also Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which already ended, and I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to cry again. Then you have, you know, Lucifer, which I'm, like, super excited about, and The Fosters, and Love, Victor, and, like, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and Victorious, which we will have a, a binge uh, soon. Um, to finish the season, like, there's this other shows that, that I don't want to risk, you know, just to go with the flow, but I want to enjoy it, you know, and if enjoying means less episodes, but better quality, like, much more engagement, much more of me, like, being really into the show, I think that's better, and that talks to what Haley and, and Brooke were saying about how their passion just became a job and they didn't like it anymore, you know? And how they are finding themselves again in that thing that they were passionate about, you know? And I love that. I love that because a lot of people can relate to that. You can love your job as much as you want, but then it comes to a point where it's just the monotony of the same thing and the same thing and the same thing you know, that you might get lost on that. And I, for no reason, want to get lost on this, you know, because as much as it is, and I take it as a job, half of it, and like most of it, it's about having fun, you know? It's about showing your excitement about it, you know? And if you are just like pushing yourself and pushing yourself, you cannot give a good quality content, I feel, you know? And... Right now, I am sacrificing, like, the amount of subscribers and the amount of, like, Patreons I could have just to do something that I love and show you that I love it. Not to show you that I love it, but I'm, like, so tired because this is the sixth reaction I made today and, like, your body has to respond in a different way, you know? Like, it's not the same the first reaction than that sixth or seventh that I did on the day, you know? So, yeah, it changed. It definitely changed on the uh, income as well and things like that. But I, I want to be passionate about it, you know? I want to I wanna give you, like, my true 100% me there than me enjoying the show, but like being too tired by the end of the day, you know? So also this week, 
it turns out I like I burn out a lot during the day. Turns out I'm really good at night. So I am keeping this like doing these things at night. Hopefully you guys like it enough. And like, I mean, you have the entire day of tomorrow to like, like watch it, you know. But I'm working on this. Maybe next week I'll do it during the morning. But I don't want to force a reaction, you know. Um, I don't want to get to that point ever, you know. So, yeah. So I perfectly felt so like representing and I saw that on with Haley and 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 Brooke that it made it feel you know so um you know I could I could see myself I perfectly understood them for what they were going through and then seeing Haley you know getting back into her music without the necessity of being a wrecker or anything just singing for fun you know just singing because she likes to sing and like that just, just like seeing her actually getting it back amazing amazing because she's so talented but she has to remember why she loves music you know and this girl is so passionate about it because she sings because she wants to have fun with it you know and that is something that that Haley needed and i love seeing it i loved seeing it uh and then we have you know the entire situation with brooke and sam which i love i love the dynamic in the comedic comedic side of it it was hilarious when Brooke walked in and she was like not even talking like she, like she was like I know what you did like don't even get me to talk and she was like okay do you, your sunglasses here's your wallet like amazing you know and of course she lashes out because she comes from this background where uh you know she doesn't feel wanted and unlike Pey Peyton who like her parents gave her up. She did have a good upbringing because she had loving parents and she had that, you know. Someone chose her and stayed with her. Not so much her dad, but, you know. Um, but with Sam, she has been in foster, in the foster system. She's 15 now. It's not like she's gonna, you know, she didn't hope to be adopted anytime soon, you know. So I love seeing that, you know, she gets to have someone who cares about her and like you like Sam doesn't lo know right now how lucky she is that out of all the people in the universe is Brooke Davis the one who cares about you because when that girl when you get into her heart like she's gonna fight for you and she's gonna be there for you I mean, unless you're Rachel, because I don't know what the hell happened to her, you know? And I don't know why she's not looking for Rachel. They mention Rachel, Rachel at least, but, like, we don't know where she is. And it looks like everybody forgotten about it. Anyways, but I love it that, and I love what it could represent, because as much as, you know, uh, they seem not so similar, they are, you know? And... I'm loving the dynamic, to be honest. Um, I love Dan threatening people because they mess with Jamie. I will be that too. <laughs> if I was as scary as Dan, Dan, I will be that too, you know? Um, what else happened? Well, the Owen dude came back and, you know, he hurt Brooke, okay? And I didn't really like him, but I did like the fact that Brooke did everything she did with the baby, with Angie. Uh, on her own and it's such an, a wonderful experience that she got to experience <laughs> I'm so stupid on her own you know uh, and I love that because it just showed us how amazing and how, how uh, uh, like the beautiful soul that Brooke Davis has and I love that I loved that that part of the season last season it was just beautiful, you know? So I'm, and I'm glad that she did it on her own, you know? But Owen is not such a bad guy, you know? I mean, he has his problems and everything. And it's understandable that, you know, he ran away. He really was like, wait, you want to be a mom? Yeah, I don't want that. He ran the opposite direction as far as he could. But um, I'm glad that uh, he's back and that they are kind of like uh, trying to like uh, get like talk again and things like that he's not a terrible guy it's not like he did it was a very jerk move that he made 
because he dis- disappear uh, uh, on her. But um, it's not so bad, you know? And, I mean, he's not a murderer, so... I mean, if we still have Dan, why not Owen, you know? So we'll see what happens there. Uh, if they will be back together or not. We don't know, but I feel like it's going to be very interesting. So I am excited. I am excited to see what else is going to happen there. Naily continue to be perfect and amazing together and like the most wonderful team in this planet. And then Layden being children. Like, I love the fact that they are so different from Naily. But I do love, like I said during the reaction, I do love that they are taking the time to, like, let them explore each other in the sense of, like, um, well, <laughs> not so much exploring for Lucas. But, like, um, I do love the fact that it is uh, playful and... It feels very young and, you know, normal uh, young people's problem when they first move in. And they were being children, you know, messing around with each other. But it was adorable and I really liked it. I really enjoyed um, all of it. All of it. Uh, you know, the fight, the, 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 the fact that they split the, the house in half and it was really funny. Um, but I kind of understand Lucas not wanting to be in his mom's room. Um, because you honestly, you could repaint it, you could redecorate it and made it your own. Because right, like that, it just feels like it's your mom's room. So it's kind of creepy, you know, for him. So hopefully they do remake it and make it their own so he can get it up, you know? <laughs> oh God, that was hilarious. And the fact that he like, like... I was so upset and apparently yell at his, you know, it was hilarious. Then we had Gigi back, who apparently is bisexual or something, which like bless. Can we see a relationship? Of course not. We are not going to see it because this is the straightest show there is. I still love it though, but it is, let's go things for what they are, you know. But I don't like the mouth didn't tell Maleficent that he met his ex-girlfriend there. I don't like that. Because like I said, he's gonna have a mouthful if he does, if he hurts Maleficent. You know, and I liked Gigi because she was really like, like, just like she said it how it was and like, you know. Uh, but I do not want anyone to hurt Maleficent. Especially not mouth, Okay. I will not be happy about that. So, uh, hopefully, you know, he tells her that he's working with his ex-girlfriend. But then nothing is happening. And I, I don't like the fact that he's, like, getting all nervous and things like that. I'm about to kick your ass, mouth. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, great episode. Loved it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe for more, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. And if you are already on Patreon, give it a heart, continue supporting for more, more reactions coming your way. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. That's it. Bye, guys.